Okay, I apologize for the wind, but right here we got ourselves the River BC Barbie. Now you guys know the story of the Ugly Duckling. And this is what happens to the Ugly Duckling when it finally matures. The River BC Carving is quite possibly one of the ugliest weapons on the face of the earth, generally. But throw on some new furniture and the thing takes on a whole new beauty. It's always quite a useful gun and very fun to shoot, but it, it was it was hideous in the past. Uh, Magpul came out with this. This is the PC Backpacker. I think they have these for the takedown 1022s as well. That's where I first saw them and kind of fell in love with them there. Didn't really have it for a PC carving. As soon as I found that out, it's something I have wanted. Thanks to Kilo Hotel, I was able to get one of these and I, I really, really appreciate that. I do like, it also makes it a lot more useful because without this, you just kind of had two loose pieces. Right now, this just holds it all together safely. You can throw this in any backpack. Super easy to store, super easy to transport. Uh, just pretty much awesome all around. The only thing is, if you listen to that, you probably need to put like some type of cleaning rag in here or something just so that the extra magazine storage, so it doesn't rattle around. Aside from that, this gun is perfect. It doesn't really add a whole lot of power to the nine millimeter with the longer barrel. It adds some, but it doesn't change the nine millimeter into something that's not but it does give you a steady platform and that is something that I like a lot. So to get this out, you just press these levers right here and that comes out. There's a little rubberized socket right here for the chamber to sit into. And you end up with a watertight storage if you want to use that. This stock complements the look of this carbine fantastically. It's, it's really simple. You really just undo these three screws right here. But, but put your chassis on, put the barrel on, and then put the hand grip on. That way you can ensure that the hand grip's not too far back. There's just a little bit of play. If it is, then it'll be too tight. I learned that the hard way. You had to take it off and reinstall it. Oh, the, the one thing I I do like better on the PC carbine, I will say. Their, their grip is a little bit more comfortable, not a big deal. Though it's still plenty comfortable and fine, but I do like the grip on the standard Ruger PC carbine stock. And I also like the magazine release a little bit better on the standard PC carbine stock. And as always, we've got the Oompa Loompa mag loader. I thought these things were gimmicky, but they're pretty nice. Truthfully, it's actually just as easy to load it. In this mag, we've got the Venom. We're gonna take this out and see what kind of velocities we're getting. If I do get a malfunction, I'll let you know. 1222, 1282, 1248, 1263, 1260, 1250, 1241, 1258, 1268. Right here's a Remington UMC. 1260, 1313, 1329, 1309, 1339, 1307, 1283, 1320, 1309. We're going to put a magazine in there so we can have full effect. We're going to start out with 17 rounds of the Venom. It looks like it's just shooting a little bit low and to the left with the Venom. Let's see what's going on with the Remington Peters. I think I'm kneeling in a cow pie.
and looks like I'm still grouping a little bit to the left. Looking at it, looks like I need to bump it over a little bit more to the right, but I've got the elevation better. I'm feeling a little better about this. At first I was thinking switching the stock wouldn't make that big of a difference, but it does change my cheek weld a little bit. For my sight picture, I had to shift the rear aperture all the way over to the right. I've never claimed to be a great marksman, but that's good enough for the purpose that I need it for. All right, that thing should be about 50, maybe 51 meters. At 50 meters, I'm shooting a little bit to the left still. I'm not too worried. I'm not trying to reach out and snipe anything with that particular round. I feel pretty good with that. I'm really digging this right now. I, I don't think I need to go with the higher cheek weld uh, cap on this I I had no issues with this operating it with my thumb. I'm a right-handed shooter. It works just fine I can no longer call this the ugly duckling First of all, I've got to ask is there anyone else out there as excited as I am to see the Easter egg hunt from Uncle Jim? I look forward to that every stinking year All right, and just in case you're wondering they came in, they planted all these, I believe they're sagebrush is what it looks like. I think it's great. I, I don't really know exactly why, but thank goodness they did it. Oh, and just by the way, is this not the most beautiful thing you ever did see? Or close to it. Uh, look at the skies, look at the snow-capped mountains. Thing of beauty.